impression of the CSW this year? Ja, was ist für Sie so das Auskommen? Oder? Also, I, I have to say that like this year, I spent most of the time on the NGO side with in the parallel events, and that's because we had uh, partners and colleagues here from Russia, and it was all about supporting them and like making sure that they have their events, that they do their networking, and then and, and, you know do the work that they need to do here. Um, I heard from other NGOs already during the first week that this year access to the government delegates was especially difficult and it's actually difficult every year but this year was supposedly particularly difficult and I have a feeling that increasingly this idea of consulting the governments is just not happening anymore uh, because the access is not there and because fundamentally the interest doesn't seem to be there from the government side like they feel that they can do this very much on their own. Um, there's also on the government side there's much more of a struggle for the achievements of women's rights so there's always this risk of going back um, rather than you know moving ahead and, and I feel I think that for a lot of women who come here this year there were supposedly 9,000 NGO delegates from all over the world which is much more than usual uh, among a lot of them there's a sense of like you know what, if the governments don't do this for us, we'll just do it for ourselves. And so that's where I spend most of my time, but I am actually looking into it now. Um, we have heard that there are efforts by some countries to limit um, the language in the, in the, in the concluding in the concluding agreement about uh, independent women's NGOs, like to not overemphasize the, the role of independent women's NGOs. That's obviously very harmful because uh, you know, if the Beijing platform is to be realized, it will be realized in those countries that have strong, powerful, independent women's NGOs and a movement. And do you hope that uh, the next 10 years uh, the Beijing platform should be realized? Well, I think it really it is very hard to say because there are a lot of unpredictable fact, uh, you know, unpredictable factors here, like uh, like armed conflict. Armed conflict tends to set back uh, achievements. Um, we're also, you know an economic crisis might set back um, achievements. Uh, like I said, I feel that it can be realized in those countries where you have an empowered civil society, a women's movement that can, that can push for it. It's not going to happen where you don't have that. You know, you know, apart from the countries where we all, where these things are not an issue anymore, but I mean, in those countries that are still struggling to achieve it, uh, I think the most important key is the presence and the independence and the strength, strength of the women's movement.